Aspen University, CJ120, Introduction to Law Enforcement. My name is Andre Rosedale, I'm the instructor for this course, and this is Module 8, Discussion Question 1, which reads, delineate how community policing and problem solving will fit into the future crime picture. Do you see an alternative? So this is a very interesting question, especially if you are backtracking and have already taken CJ405, Community Policing, which I also teach. Um, community policing, it's been kind of the hot thing for the past uh, 20-something years. I just retired as I'm filming this in March of 2021, and um, I started at a police department that was based on community policing. A 35-man police department, it, uh, bedroom community outside of Hartford, Connecticut, very affluent, and there wasn't a lot of crime, which is one of the reasons that I moved on to a different department, because there was nothing to do. I worked uh, midnight shifts, and my job was to take down tag sale or garage sale signs from telephone poles, because there was a, there was a quality of, of life issue in, in the town. So community policing, how is that working out now? We've gone through a lot of different, um, a lot of different scandals and drama in policing within the past five or six years. President Obama came out with the uh, Policing in the 21st Century Commission, where he was really pushing for more community policing, and within President Trump's um, term there has been really a pull for defunding police. And if you defund the police, which will tie into the next question, um, you're actually losing the ability to do community policing because community policing is really big on non-traditional police things. Uh, crime suppression through community policing is interesting and I don't think it's very successful. Uh, my department that I just retired from as a community policing unit because the mayor likes it, but he's not very in touch. He's a part-time mayor. He's a package delivery person elsewhere. And I'm not putting that employment down. It's just that he's not very connected with politics and policing and running a city because it's a part-time job that it really nobody wants. Um, and they're doing like a fishing tournament. Uh, for kids within the city, and I don't know how that's going to lead to crime prevention and crime suppression. So is community policing viable in the, in the future? I look forward to your response with a good APA reference, and um, I don't think it is. I think we're going to see uh, policing units pull back to patrol and detectives, and then as the pendulum swings the other way and people are, are crying about how um, police are not doing enough and there's crimes rising in the city, you'll start seeing specialty units again with narcotics and vice and SWAT and the callback for police departments to start being armed like the military, which is what they're pulling away from now. And that's just basically what I've seen in uh, some of my experiences as a police officer and as someone that was involved uh, on a kind of a lower support level of politics in my city. But I look forward to your response. Let me know what you think.